Prehistoric rock paintings at Kumitipati in South India illustrate the close relationship people had with Asian elephants thousands of years ago. At Mahabaliporum, spectacular 7th century rock carvings of these gentle giants take your breath away. India is one of the most biodiversity rich countries in the world. From the high Himalayas to the north and the steaming jungles of the south, it is home to a vast array of wildlife including an estimated 27,000 Asian elephants. Elephants are the largest land mammals that inhabit our planet, and also one of the most intelligent. An elephant needs up to 150 kilos of food a day. They migrate seasonally in search of food and water, often traveling huge distances of up to 250 kilometers. India now has an estimated population of nearly 1.4 billion people. As the population grows and wildlife habitat disappears in the name of development, elephants are forced to search for food and water in farmlands near human habitation. A tragic result of this is the rising human-elephant conflict. The situation is so grim in Tamil Nadu that nearly 64 elephants and 58 people have succumbed to the conflict in the last one year. Ramba sayaram panni riche. Adal vande nareya kal fracture, kai fracture, side side hip balam fracture hai. Treatment adte the kena ko reiru tanjala charo salava chhe. Na recoverai vali varumbo the renda varsa ipo chhe. Tiri mi renda varsa engal chhe na vande ini ena vivsai na na vivsai na panni trukre. Vivsai manlan varumbo the marudi vivsai manna kada the door attack ra vala or umbara irte inu rovala vichurne. And the Valley Pura Marudim Yana Katana in Allah, Sada Purti Rumbo in a Mana Volachalacum, Sada Tacum Rumbo Varta the Allah Kitchi Nagaraj continues to farm in the same place where he was attacked. Not everyone is that fortunate. Farmers are at the front line of the conflict. They are a soft target for the pachyderms. But it is not just humans that are suffering. A common cause for elephant deaths is electrocution. These are often accidental and due to temporary electric fences put up to protect crop fields. Some elephants are deliberately killed to avenge damage to farms and property. Elephants live in herds, led by a wise matriarch. Corridors that lead them from one feeding ground to another remain deeply etched in their memory. But these ancient migratory routes are steadily being fractured and destroyed.
Every year, people celebrate the arrival of Ganesh, the elephant-headed god, who is the lord of good fortune, prosperity and wisdom. The festival illustrates the deep but complex bond between people and nature. At nightfall, in areas of high human-elephant conflict, the elephant is no longer revered. Firecrackers are used not to appease the deity, but to chase a villain. It has become a ghastly and dangerous form of entertainment where the rule of law has no place. On January the 22nd, a wild elephant was set on fire near Mudumalai. It died a brutal death, and the footage went viral. People were outraged, little knowing that harassing wild elephants is now commonplace. The end result of repeated conflict with one of these magnificent wild giants may be death or capture, to be taken away for a life in captivity. The forest department digs deep trenches to try and stop elephants from entering farmland and urges farmers to plant crops disliked by elephants. But this often encourages the pachyderms to move even deeper inside human settlements. <laughs> Here in the western part of Coimbatore, in Valparai, the forest department and NGOs have been working on a solution. This is a biodiversity paradise and a hotbed for human-elephant conflict. In the early 19th century, huge swathes of virgin forests in Valparai 
were cleared for tea estates. Now over 70,000 people depend on them for their livelihood. Rampant deforestation has left the forest fragmented. Yet the elephants continue to move through these lands, which were once their sole domain. Even the smallest remnants of their traditional corridors are still used by the elephants. To avoid major incidents, an early warning system has been developed to alert the public on elephant movement. With effective patrolling and tracking the herds, elephants are now able to cross the roads in peace. In the last few years, casualties have significantly reduced. And Valparai is an example of how humans and wildlife can give each other space and yet coexist. But when night falls and the elephants move widely in search of food, the old problems re-emerge. Once a herd ends up in a populated area, the journey back to their forests is not an easy one. The authorities chase them from one direction to another, often spurred on by villagers, tourists and tea estate operators. These chaotic episodes have a long-term impact on the behavior of the elephants, which can lead to further friction and loss of life. Scared and enraged, they trample crops and damage property. At the border of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, at Hasanur, during the sugarcane season, hundreds of overloaded trucks stop at the border check posts every day. Wild elephants have learned to detain and raid the trucks loaded with sugarcane and the vehicles queuing up at the border. But it is a dangerous game, as the elephants become habituated to the huge trucks and their blaring horns and headlights. Even baby elephants are learning the art of stealing sugarcane. The elephants usually target trucks carrying especially heavy loads. The raiding of sugarcane trucks by the elephants will have serious long-term consequences and it needs to be stopped by moving the check posts outside the forests. Elephants have roamed the planet for millions of years. They are a cultural and religious icon that play a vital role in the ecology and economy of India and beyond. Left unhindered and undisturbed, they truly are the gentle giants. A lot of work needs to be done 
to set aside safe spaces for elephants, to roam in search of food and water. We owe it to them and to the generations to come to secure their future.